With that jump, Marcus Jelpe cleared seven feet and a quarter inches, earning him the top outdoor jump in the U.S. for young men under 20 years old. Not bad for a guy from Dixon High School who's fairly new to the sport of high jumping. If you had to dissect why he's been successful so far, and the guy's only been jumping for two years. What do you think his, his forte is right now? I think right now is his patience. Uh, as he goes into the bar and, and being patient over the bar, the higher the bar is, the more patient you have to be. Uh, and also his uh, strength training. He's been, been doing a lot of strength training, uh, gaining some muscle, and which is going to help him jump even higher. According to his mother, Marcus, who stands six foot three inches tall, was born with jumping in his blood. He was a very active kid. He would jump off my car, off fences. He... <laughs> He was very active. Since 80% of it is mental and 20% is physical, according to you, how do you train the mental part? Uh, trial and tribulations, honestly, messing up a lot and really having a good coach who pushes me mentally, tells me the right things, like really helps me look at track in a different way than I used to. And taking that different look to his sport, Marcus has improved by leaps and bounds. I made the state meet my junior year. I did, and I didn't do as well as I thought I would. I mean, I jumped six, four and three fourths, which the week before that, I just jumped my personal best of six, six. So I was super excited going into it, but I didn't make it into the finals. I think I got 14th. So after a 14th place finish at the state meet during his junior year at Dixon High School, Marcus had plans to win the state meet his senior year, but COVID-19 ended that dream. My senior year, I was like, I was grinding all summer and I was like, okay, this is going to be my year. I'm going to win the state meet. And, you know, it didn't end up happening, but that's okay. And it was okay because after his senior year in high school, the governing body for track and field of Puerto Rico invited Marcus to join their national team. My father was born and raised in Puerto Rico and that basically giving us the dual citizenship factor, even though it's part of the United States but it allows me to compete for Puerto Rico. So at 18 years old, Marcus, who's number one in Puerto Rico and 14th in the world, is now in Puerto Rico training with their national team. I'm honored because I had the option to choose between USA or Puerto Rico for the under 20 program. And I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with my decision of choosing Puerto Rico. And his mother doesn't have concerns, like most moms do, when their youngest child heads to another part of the country. They are so good to him. They just really welcomed him in. It felt very comfortable, very easy. And um, he's got his grandpa over there and other family members. So he's been, we've been back and forth to Puerto Rico his whole life. And despite his early success in a sport where he will most likely earn a trip to the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics, Marcus's focus is on something else. Mostly I just seen a lot of what the, the country's gone through in the past years, like including the hurricane and everything. And I want to I want to be part of the movement that helps bring life back into Puerto Rico. Del Rogers, KCRA 3 Sports. Well, his first uh, meet in Puerto Rico will be the World Championships for under 20 in Nairobi, Kenya in August.